Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the kitchen. So I'm Nick Webster and we're going to go over kind of a new dish today. So I've got about, about two and a half hours between my first soccer class in the morning, which already happened. Hey Alessandro. And uh, my second class, which will be happening in a couple hours. But I want something simple, something easy, and something that's not going to be too expensive. These are my ingredients. I got about two pounds of regular potatoes. 10 ounces of garden peas, five hot dogs, one onion, and I got five eggs. So to get started, we're just gonna go ahead because I like to get my hot dogs a little burnt. We're gonna turn the oven on. I just wanna throw them all in so they can start crisping up. When my mom was making this growing up, we just had eggs, we had potatoes, and we had hot dogs. And the cool thing about it, you gotta get put whatever you want on top. So if you wanna put ketchup, if you want mustard, if you want hot sauce, if you want something else, I guess if you want mayonnaise, you can throw that on. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit down with these potatoes while those hot dogs are going and start the peeling process. Now, if you have a friend who you are trying to impress with a very inexpensive hot dog, egg, potato meal, have them peel the potatoes. I'm not really going ahead and peeling all of them, I'm just peeling most of them, giving them a nice striped look. Wasn't that mind-boggling? When, when they came out in school lunches that french fries were a vegetable? I cannot tell you how happy I was growing up when instead of getting the mushy peas or the can of peaches or whatever, they were like, oh yeah, french fries, that'll go nice with your pizza. I was like, oh, yeah, I will. Let me get my hot dogs to stir. I want the lines. Make them pretty. I said make them pretty. Back in you go. Hot dogs are kind of gross anyway, so you don't really have to worry about putting any oil into the pan. Just put it on a pan, turn it on to high, medium high. Some of you all are gonna burn down the house because you're not paying attention. And they can just cook themselves, right? There's enough junk in there. Enough nitrates and horse hooves and whatever else we're eating. I hate peeling potatoes. All right, so our potatoes are pretty much done. Hot dogs are still searing, we can move on to the onion. My goal, my goal for this video is not to impress you with my cooking skills, it's not to impress you and make you laugh, or, or maybe you can tell me how pretty I am. The goal, to make a simple meal, and to not cut myself while on camera. Hot dogs, hot dogs, burn them, turn them off, they're done. I don't know if I said this before, but I love Chinese food, and I love Chinese Tupperware, because it is the best. It's the best. Wonton soup, $1.25 or a large for $2.50. Is it a deal? No, but I sometimes like to get the big Tupperware. Maybe I'm overcompensating. Or maybe I just like Chinese food and I like lots of wonton soup. Hot dogs, they're chilling out there. Eh, we can go and cut them now. Why not? Sure. In general, anything that's long, cylindrical, okay. Yeah, I probably shouldn't wave these around. So we're going for half moons today. What we're trying to do is all half moons. Half moons on the potatoes and half moons on to the hot dogs. We can move on to the potato. Hot potato, hot potato. I'm just kidding, it's a cold potato. You see what that was? That was the wrong cut. I put a bird, I put a bird, didn't cut my fingers. Didn't cut my fingers. So, same pan that I used for the hot dogs. We'll go ahead, we'll put it on seven and a half. Why am I putting it on seven and a half? I don't know. So let's go with eight. All right, let's be decisive. So we're gonna be using a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of bacon fat. Yeah. Oh yeah. No way in hell. Sorry, I just had to go. Season our potatoes with a little bit of cracked black pepper. Thanks, Dad, appreciate it. See, it's getting work. And I'll use the salt shaker. I don't really like using that, so I'm not going to. Sorry, Dad. I'm going to use garlic salt, a little bit of chili powder. Ugh. Oh, lost one. Oh, feeding well, crunchy. I don't recommend doing that. Okay, cool. So we can go ahead and add our one onion. Scramble your five eggs and add a little bit of salt, pepper, and hot sauce and pour it into the mixture. Give it a little stir and you are set to go. You know, it's kind of funny, when I was growing up, this was never a meal that I thought was great. I kind of realized like I'm eating a little bit of my memories. If you grew up on McDonald's and that was how you spent time with your family, that's you're probably gonna have a lot of positive, hopefully have some positive memories about McDonald's. And that's kind of what the great thing about food is it, is it creates memories, it's a community. And we want to bring that back 
So many people go out to eat, which is cool. Well, I'm all for going out to eat. But damn, I can spend half the money, make twice as much food. I just wish people would come back to cooking. I wish people would come back to the kitchen a little more. And I think they will. I'm hoping they will. I do this same thing. Well, that to become a millionaire. So, hot dogs, go ahead, you can go in. So once our eggs are looking a little scrambled, once they're getting kind of like that, and they're on the way to towards being done, you can add our already cooked hot dog. Now I said 10 ounces. I'm not gonna use 10 ounces. Four handfuls. Now the only reason I put in peas or something green is because my mom at a very early age, she was always saying we had to eat vegetables. And so when I would make this, it was good, but there was that inherent mom voice in the back of my mind going, I don't see any green. I don't see any green vegetables in that. My mom doesn't sound anything like that, but you had to get that nagging mom. You know what I'm talking about? I bet your mom doesn't sound like that, but I bet in the back of your mind, she kind of sounds like that. She kind of sounds all rah. I'm near here. Rah, 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 rah. Not to taste your food. It's under season, so we're gonna add a little more salt. There it is, guys. Potatoes, hot dogs, eggs, and a little bit of peas. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time, and we'll make something else that's not going to slop all over the counter, hopefully. Thanks.